We have just hit this year's halfway point, and the murder numbers in New Orleans are quite frankly frightening. Good evening. I'm Katie Moore. Sharice is off tonight. We're now on pace to have the fourth highest homicide rate ever in the city. Paul Murphy reports a mother who lost a son to gun violence says she believes the numbers will get even worse before they get better. Chevelle Fontenet says the growing number of young people gunned down on the streets of New Orleans touches her heart. Well, it really saddens me to know that so much crime and, and it's the younger kids who are doing it. Her 19 year old son, Hashan Miller, is one of three people shot and killed outside a Gentilly music studio in September 2020. The alleged killer was just 15 years old. These kids are lost because these kids are raising their cells. There have been 148 murders in the city so far this year. That's a 44% jump over the same time last year. If we keep the same pace as we did for the first six months of the year, for the second six months of the year, we have a murder rate that what would rank, I think, is the fourth worst compared to 93, 94, and 2007 as the only years where we reported a worse murder rate. City Council Public Safety Consultant Jeff Asher's unofficial tally showed the city had 31 homicides in the month of June. That's the most in a month since July 2004. It's only the second time since Katrina that there's been about 30 murders in a month. Um, you know, we had 122 for the entirety of, of 2019. Asher points out the city has already exceeded the total number of murders in both 2018 and 2019 with six months left to go in the year. It really is, you know, hopefully a, a call to do better or, or at least identifying the necessity of doing better. Fontenot says parents and the community need to play a larger role in stopping the killings. We need to turn these kids in because some of us, we believe in, I don't see anything, I won't say anything, my kid didn't do anything. When well, you know your kid is wrong for doing this. She's not surprised by the city's high murder rate so far this year. I think it's going to get worse. And I think it's going to get worse if the leaders are not leading. Earlier this week, police superintendent Sean Ferguson said the NOPD will continue to press forward and do what needs to be done to ensure safety in the city. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Of the 148 murders that have occurred in New Orleans this year, 53 are incidents in which the suspect had or is believed to have had a prior relationship with the victim. Of that 53, nine were domestic. Officials say it's nearly impossible to police personal relationships and the inability of individuals to settle their differences without resorting to violence. And it's hard for law enforcement to address many of the underlying causes of the problems facing society today, namely inequality of educational opportunities, inequality of employment and economic opportunities.